all good things must come to an end. And on June 17, 1967, the final curtain came down on the Hall of Fame career of Robin Roberts, right here in Reading's Municipal Memorial Stadium. Robbie was a, a great pitcher, of course, as we know now, a Hall of Famer. And I think everyone uh, that played with him recognized that greatness with him even then. He came here with an aura around him as far as the rest of us were concerned. And some were a little older. I was older and uh, had a great respect, as did the, the rookies on our ball club at that time. You should know we came off of a long road trip. On that road trip, I recall, and Robbie was on the road trip, which I, I didn't understand. I couldn't fathom in my mind why, if he was at his age, he would want to make that ride. We made the ride. We stopped on the turnpike, as we would do for a standard break. Uh, get a, some coffee or something to eat and go to the bathroom and so forth and so on, stretch your legs. Robbie got off the bus. He sat right next across from me. Uh, the manager sat in the front seat. We sat in the net back two seats right behind him. And I recall looking at him. He had a single and I had a single seat. I guess maybe we were a little older and we were given that privilege. And uh, I remember looking at him before we got off that trip, off the bus uh, to stretch our legs. And, he came over to me and he said, Howie, how do you do this? And then he said, not only how do you do it, why do you do this? And I looked at his face and his face, when it's late in the morning and you're all older, there's wrinkles that run from your eyes and your mouth and you really look drawn. Well, I know he was a few years older than I was or we were close maybe, maybe a little older than I was. And I looked at him and I said, well, I do it because I love it. He said, I don't get it. He said, this, this is a hard ride to have to make. It was a ride he would be making for the last time, as Robert's comeback attempt with the r -Fills came to a close two days later. Even at age 40, his final numbers seemed to indicate he had some gas left in the tank. Five and three with a 2.48 ERA over 11 starts. He ran an awful lot. He could just run and run and run. And I think that running always kept him in great physical condition. Uh, he demonstrated that, I think, at the end of his career because he still was quite an athlete even when he walked off this field for the last time. Though Roberts left his final start after seven innings with a 4-3 lead, he ended up with a no decision in the Phillies' 5-4 win over Pawtucket. After exiting the field, he quietly said goodbye to the game for good. Well, I thought I could get to the clubhouse before he could get out of there. By the time we came in, it was a couple runners, bat batters later, he was gone. His stuff was hanging on, and at that time we didn't have lockers, we had nails. And it was, his, lock, his uniform was hanging on a nail. Five years later, I met him at a get together in Philadelphia, and I said, Robbie, where did you go? He said, Howie, I gave it all I had, had nothing left, and I just, I didn't want to stay in that clubhouse and see people. Robin Roberts' last game, another of Reading's many golden moments.